Mbizo MP Settlement Chiquinha, CCC, has challenged President Emerson Nangagwa to disband terror groups in Kweku, particularly Al-Shabaab which has allegedly committed numerous acts of violence in the Midlands city over the years. Chiquinha claimed that the ZANU-PF-linked terror groups commit politically motivated violence with impunity and the police have no power to arrest their members. During the run-up to the 26 March by-elections, Benenin Cube, a CCC member, was stabbed to death during a rally in Mbizo by suspected members of a ZANU-PF-linked terror group. Speaking to the Newshawks, Chiquinha. Dot we have fought a brutal fight, a very unrepentant violent system anchored on the violent antics of the Al-Shabaab group. It is well known and protected by senior ZANU-PF officials. Since 1999, we have documented a number of people who have been murdered and tortured. The murders continue with the latest one being that of Benenin Cube. The tortures continue with the individuals identified as perpetrators receiving impunity, and even if they are partially arrested, they are quickly released from prison and come back to continue the atrocities. The police cannot do much as long as their hands remain tied like this, and as long as these people get protection from these senior officials. Chiquinha said as long as Nangagwa is involved in politics in Kweku, the terror groups will continue to have impunity. He added, dot we know the guys involved, and if you walk around Kweku and ask who the Al-Shabaab people are, they will tell you. Dotting cube murder perpetrators are known, and the witnesses are now being threatened. Dot now they can't speak, and they are trying to distort the whole story by threatening witnesses. Dot the next thing they will begin to blame CCC, to say it was stage managed, and perhaps they will arrest people from CCC and manufacture witnesses. We are not ruling that out. Dot for it to come to an end, we have to remove the influence of Nangagwa and former state security minister Owen Cube from politics around Kweku, and that will bring peace to Kweku. Dot as long as these individuals are there, the perpetrators will continue to have a home where they can launch these attacks. Dot meanwhile, suspected ZANU PF activists who allegedly murdered Nkube recently kidnapped his sister, Judith Nkube, and threatened to kill her if she continued demanding answers into Mbeneni's murder. Dot Mbeneni was stabbed twice with a spear at a CCC rally held at Mbizo Shopping Center and died on admission to Kweku Central Hospital. Bing it, 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 bing it